good Saturday morning. This is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing. Overall, we have no significant fire weather impacts. We do continue with dry, gusty southwest winds today, uh, although the wind speeds themselves not quite as strong as yesterday's 40 to 50 mile an hour gust, and the relative humidity should be slightly higher today as well. Looking at precipitation on the left over the past 24 hours, uh, we do see that we had significant amounts across the mountains of Idaho, these uh, dark blue to green areas, anywhere from a quarter to three quarters of an inch. There was some snow recorded on some of the higher peaks. Uh, also, we had some uh, scattered thunderstorm activity across parts of eastern Utah. We can see that on the lightning map over to the right-hand side. Again, these were mainly uh, wet storms uh, over fuels that are still fairly uh, moist. Great Basin fire activity, we continue to see um, acreage on our large fires, but overall uh, initial attack has been uh, fairly small with uh, lightning, but no significant growth with any of those fires. Our water vapor satellite imagery shows the deep low pressure still over the Pacific Northwest, still pumping up lots of moisture and clouds into Idaho, uh, increasing the moisture now across parts of uh, northern Utah and parts of Nevada as well a dry wedge of air further to our southwest. So today's significant fire potential, you see we're quite benign and green uh, across the north where they've had now three days of cool, moist conditions with scattered showers and even some uh, wet snow in the higher terrain. Uh, moderately dry across much of Nevada and parts of western Utah, but again not as dry as we were about a week ago. Weather-wise, for today, on the left-hand side, we see peak wind gusts, and uh, with these uh, bluish and greenish colors and into the yellow, we see peak gusts uh, probably getting into the uh, upper 20s to uh, mid-30s today for the most part, not quite as strong as yesterday's winds. On the right-hand side, in the weather, we start in the north. You can see uh, widespread showers popping up across the mountains of central Idaho, and the the speckle of blue you see there is indicating snow across the higher terrain, probably above 6,000, maybe closer to 7,000 feet at times. Uh, the heavier the precipitation, the uh, lower the localized snow levels will be. Otherwise, scattered showers uh, further south, going towards the Snake River Valley. Um, otherwise, uh, just maybe some isolated showers or thunderstorms popping up again along and east of the Wasatch Front. So we go into Sunday, look on the left-hand side, you see that low-pressure trough that was over the Pacific Northwest has now lifted out. Still some residual cloud cover and moisture across Idaho, so still maybe some spotty showers. We do start to see a wedge of drier air now pushing in from California across central Nevada and starting to approach uh, Utah. And you see significant fire potential fairly quiet. Weather for tomorrow, winds significantly lighter in most other areas. No significant weather expected for the most part. On Monday, we start seeing uh, really just a zonal flow. We'll be in between high and low pressure systems. Not much change in our significant fire potential. Monday's weather, winds fairly light, uh, relative humidity, uh, dries across uh, western portions of Nevada, otherwise uh, near normal for uh, early to mid-September. Tuesday, we continue with that zonal flow, high pressure off to our west. Uh, Another little wave of low pressure dropping down out of British Columbia uh, may bring some clouds uh, just to far northern portions of our area, but nothing significant. And if you look at our significant fire potential, you can see that southwest Idaho starts drying out a little bit. They uh, missed out on a little bit of the precipitation that occurred over the past few days. Now on Wednesday, we see that uh, high pressure starts building in across the west coast. A uh, little trough of low pressure has moved on out. We stay dry as we go into Thursday. Stronger high pressure starting to build into the west, uh, drying out across portions of Nevada. I see a little bit more brown and yellow on the, on the map, now pushing into parts of southeast Idaho as well. Current fuel conditions, you can see for the most part taking a nosedive across Idaho with the cool, showery weather that they've had through there. Uh, still some moderately dry areas across parts of northwestern Utah and uh, northeastern Nevada. You can see that in some of our trend, uh, trend centers here. And uh, across some of our areas, you can see that we are pushing back up to above normal ERCs 
and especially in Great Basin Zone 12, we're now pushing up uh, very close to the 80th percentile, so we'll have to watch that warming trend carefully. In our long-range outlook, the 8 to 14 day outlook, we see that uh, the Climate Prediction Center now is uh, going along with some of our long-range models in expanding the warmer uh, than normal conditions across a good portion of our area, especially Nevada, and you can also see that the uh, drier than normal conditions will encompass all of our area. So we will we'll see significant drying, uh, kind of an Indian summer weather pattern continuing through the middle of September. This concludes our briefing. Have a safe day.